in two days, I will turn 18. I will come of age. But I will never have children. Don't ask me why. in a fight in school <laughs> or you got punished again <laughs> Titi are you not the one I'm talking to She wasn't patient enough to hear me out. Mommy. Mommy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for walking out on you earlier. touches me. Mom? Mom wasn't patient enough to hear me out the first time. <laughs> Once again, 
my cries fall on deaf ears. Stop crying. Talk to me. What is it? Jennifer. Please stop crying. Calm down. What is the matter? Jennifer was my best friend. My parents got separated. She lives with her dad. Titi! I think she's worse off. She's trapped. I feel her pain. has to work extra hard to make us comfortable. I understand. I truly do. I never knew my dad. But I could do it with some attention. Here we go again. My predicaments. Mom is too busy for school runs. She's a working mother and a single mom. Thankfully, her brother Uncle Timmy offered to help out. Did I say thankfully? I don't think so. You see, Uncle Timmy picks me up every day after school. And then I get molested. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
but nobody hears. Who would I tell? Who would believe me? I got home quite late today, 10 p.m. to be precise. Things had taken a drastic <laughs> turn, and I desperately needed someone to talk to. I know everything would have turned out differently if only Mom was home. You'll see why. By the time mom got home, I was already fast asleep. Once I had slept over the incident, I was convinced I could handle it myself going forward. I didn't need to talk to anybody. Not even mom. Good evening and thanks for staying with us. This is DCTV News R. I am Etienne Baki. A young girl named Jennifer Jacobs has died. The teenager died on the way to the hospital this evening and it has been confirmed by the doctors that Jennifer died from drug overdose. The doctors are <laughs> 
Jennifer had had enough. So she put an end to her misery. <laughs> in a better place, I guess. <laughs> I want to be in a better place. But I want to leave. today I think I'm stronger I just feel it one thing is sure though I'm better prepared to face my nightmare yesterday was just a warning mommy bought me a gift beautiful wristwatch. I think she's just trying to bribe me for not always being there. But I like the wristwatch nevertheless. in time again. Something feels awkward. I don't know what it is. But I feel it. Left alone in the class. I'm waiting to hear the sound of his horn. But it's never going to sound, is it? I guess my warning was well received. Is that her? Yes. Please just give me a moment. Uh, please. Something I just wasn't prepared for. Titi. Did you see your uncle yesterday? Did he drop you off? Is something wrong? 
the police was at our house. They found some of my books and ID cards from yesterday. I could not deny it. So I had to tell it all. <laughs> I think it's time to let you know what happened yesterday. In the prison. To the very last detail. I got him. <laughs> Yesterday, <laughs> Uncle Timmy became more aggressive towards me. You caught him, but you caught him too deep. <laughs> His hands were slashed. Your uncle died. I'm sorry, my dear. No, go off me! <laughs> He tried to rape me after the rain. I swear, the court was not enough to kill him. He must have had a seizure. Now the law has to take its course. Every evidence pointing at me. Guilty. I'm all the law. My life ends before it even begins. Titi! This is not going to stop me. Come back here, Titi! Come, come! Jennifer, I might have to find a way out of this world with busy mothers, hardworking dads, children left vulnerable, my future's end. Eighteen. 
told us how far I've gone. <laughs> Zero. That's what it all comes to. <laughs> 